identify the causes and treatment of diseases of the major organs, introduce good habits to maintain a healthy body. Science 4 Why do people get sick or suffer physical injuries? There are many reasons underlying these problems. People get sick due to contamination of bacteria and viruses present in the surroundings through air, water, food, and contact with sick people. Other reasons include poor nutrition, lack of rest, and unhealthy lifestyle, old age, and genetic disorders. Injury, harm, or danger an act or event that causes someone or something to no longer be fully healthy or in good condition. Disease, an illness that affects a person, animal, or plant. A condition that prevents the body or mind from working normally. Common bone and muscle injuries. Fracture is a break in the bone. Dislocation occurs when a bone in the joint is displaced or has moved out of its proper position. Sprain, an injury to a ligament caused by excessive stretching. A sprained ligament brings so much pain and swelling in the injured part. Cramp, a strong muscle contraction that can be very painful, lasting a few minutes, but massaging the muscles can often relieve the pain. Bruise Muscle becomes black or blue due to blood clot when you get hit or when you bump into something hard. Common Bone Diseases Arthritis It is a skeletal disorder characterized by the inflammation of joints, stiffness, and tenderness in the swollen joint that may last for days. It can happen to people of all ages but commonly experienced by older people. Rickets, a bone condition caused by a deficiency in vitamin D, usually observed in children. Persons with rickets have very weak bones, causing bone deformation. Osteoporosis It is a condition in which the minerals in the bones, specifically calcium, is decreased making the bones weak, brittle, and susceptible to fractures. Polio It is an acute infection caused by virus that attacks the nerve cells of the brain and spinal cord, resulting to paralysis. Common ailments related to digestion Gastroenteritis It is an acute inflammation of the membranes in the stomach and intestines. Toxins that are produced by the bacteria in the contaminated foods and drinks cause the inflammation. Ulcer, hyperacidity. It is an open sore in the lining of the stomach that becomes painful due to gastric acid produced in the stomach. Diarrhea. Frequent moving of the bowel with watery stool. Appendicitis, inflammation of the appendix caused by irritation from undigested food that may block it. Indigestion, caused by too much or rapid eating or drinking. Common lungs ailments. Asthma. It is a condition where a person experiences difficulty in breathing. Rhinitis, characterized by sneezing, nasal discharge, and itchiness in the nasal passage. Cold, marked by sneezing, runny nose, 
coughing, and sometimes fever. Pneumonia results when tiny air sacs or alveoli in the lungs becomes infected and inflamed. The air sacs are filled with fluid that they cannot get oxygen into the blood. People with pneumonia experience high fever, chest pain when coughing, and cough with phlegm that gets worse. Tuberculosis is an infectious disease of the lungs caused by bacteria called tubercal bacilli. It can be contacted by inhaling air cough or sneeze by someone infected with the bacteria. Lung cancer, it develops in response to prolonged exposure to irritants like tobacco smoke. Heart ailments, high blood pressure or hypertension is characterized by a sudden rise of blood pressure. Stroke is a condition that occurs when the blood supply to the brain is interrupted. Thus, the blood vessels in the brain or neck is blocked or burst. Heart attack It occurs when blood clot or fat get lodged in blood vessels which block the passage of blood to the heart. Congenital heart disease is a heart abnormality present at birth which might have affected the fetus as it developed in the uterus of the mother's womb. Brain diseases Alzheimer's disease, irreversible loss of neurons and loss of intellectual abilities. Dementia, brain cell damage that may lead to Alzheimer's disease which caused by depression, medical side effects, excessive alcohol intake, and vitamin deficiency. Parkinson's disease, progressive loss of muscle control which results in difficulty in walking, talking, and completing simple tasks. Brain tumor, group of similar cells that does not follow normal growth, later on develop into a large mass of cells. Your internal organs need proper care so they can perform well keeping your body cells and tissues alive. Here are some ways on how we can take good care of our internal organs. Practice good nutrition habits. Eat regularly and on time. Stay physically active. Drink plenty of water and fruit juices. Sleep well. Do not consume contaminated food and water. Maintain clean surroundings. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, subscribe, share, at i-hit ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aming mga bagong video. Dito lang yan sa...